Okay, so now that we've done our external pre-flight, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, startup taxi and run up checklist. So first thing we need to do is we need to pull the plane out of the hangar. And that can be done with a single person. This does have a maximum gross weight of 5,100 5, pounds. And so it's a little bit heavy, but it can be done with one adult. Okay, like I said, 5,100 pounds. It can be moved by an adult, but uh, it's oftentimes helpful to have a friend. So what we're gonna do here is basically use our tow bar and connect it to the nose wheel. And I like to give it kind of one push and then, okay, I'll try again. One push and then kind of start off. And then once you've got it moving, you can't stop. You gotta keep it moving. So we're rolling. We start to turn the nose wheel. And we're out of the hangar. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close our hangar door. And we'll uh, get ready to do the startup taxi and run-up checklist. Okay, so again, we've got a step here and a handle here and we'll get up in and make our way in i find the best way to do this is to put your left leg in bend your right knee and then you're in as far as closing the door there's a little metal bar that you push there and then doors we begin the uh, before start checklist gear switch down Parking brake set, seat belts on, passenger brief, we don't have any in here. Door closed, circuit breakers in, fuel selector on, mixture props full forward, gear switch down, and alternate static air off. Okay, so you can see that our gear switch is down, our parking brake is set, our seat belts are on, passenger brief is done, the door is closed, all of our circuit breakers are in. Our fuel selector is on. And our alternate static air is off. Which it's kind of hard to see that. I'll try to show you. There it is. Okay, so next thing, starting engines, mixtures, props full forward, master on, strobe on, fuel check on, throttle half open, aux pump off if less than 90 degrees clear left prop left engine start throttle less than 1200 rpm check the oil pressure alternator on and repeat for the right engine so we'll go ahead and do that mixture and props full forward throttle is half open we do our master switch on we do the aux fuel pump until we see a peak in pressure on the left and then we go ahead and clear prop and pull this back order. Okay, so now we just repeat the left engine start with the right engine start. Turn on the fuel pump, look for a max fuel outflow, decrease the throttle to quarter, then we go ahead and turn on the magnetos, clear the right prop, and start it up. We're now doing our after start checklist. Check engine instruments, fuel selector to cross feed, mixture lean for taxi lights as required atis and gps obtain and set brake release and check okay so we'll uh turn on our gps make sure all our avionics are working then our yes we'll set the altimeter 3022 We've got three different altimeters in this airplane, so we'll just set the Garmin G5 to uh, 3022. 
and then the other one is on the PFD, which is not started up yet. And we'll wait for the uh, Aspen to start up. And we'll check the Garmin GPS is acquiring signal. The aviation and terrain databases are up to date. We would program in our flight plan at this time. Uh, that altimeter is set. Still waiting for the Aspen PFD to start up. Okay, now it's start up. So we hit okay, and then we set the altimeter in the Aspen PFD as well, 3022. And then check our engine instruments. So we expect the oil temperature to be low, which it is. We will let it warm up during the uh, run up. We set our fuel selector to cross feed, mixture lean for taxi. So we've completed our after start checklist. Uh, lights, beacon, landing taxi, strobe, and ice light just so everyone sees us. And then check controls are free and correct, check the engine instruments again. The fuel pump, auxiliary fuel pump should be off if temperature is less than 90 degrees. If it's higher than 90 degrees Fahrenheit then we set it to low. And oil temp still still low, it's coming up. Oil pressure is uh, on the high range of normal. And so uh, we, we check all our other primary uh, flight instruments and ensure that uh, the attitude indicator's working and uh, make sure our load meters are equal. Now we go ahead and do the run-up checklist. So I'm gonna run the RPMs up to 2200 RPM. And then we do propeller exercise. So I pull back the left propeller lever and you see the RPM drop. You see the manifold pressure go up on the left and then you see the left oil pressure dip. And we do the same thing with the right propeller lever we see the right propeller RPM drop, manifold pressure increase, and oil pressure decrease. And I also have a JPI engine monitor over on the left hand side that I could use to look for this too, but we're just going to go ahead and use the factory engine instruments. And then to check the magnetos, we pull back the RPM to 1700. And then uh, set the left magneto from both to left, see for, look for a, a slight RPM drop, uh, less than 150, then go back to both, then set it to the right magneto for the left engine, back to both, should less see less than 150 RPM drop, and see less than a 50 RPM difference between the left and right magneto on each engine. So then we check the right engine magnetos, both, then left, then right, <clears throat> and so forth. And then lastly, I'm doing the feather check now. So you set, you set your RPM to 1500 and then pull the RPM lever back all the way into the feather detent and you look for a less than 500 drop. Then you look at the suction to make sure the suction is working. And then you do an idle check. So I just pulled back the, the throttle okay, so that and was the engine's the still Beast running. Baron 55, before start, engine start, after start, taxi and run up checklist. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, we'll show you another checklist next time.